Today we're going to look at an app that I've been using for quite some time, almost I guess since the time I had the original iPad 1. Um, and it's still one of my favorite apps for taking notes because it is so easy to use and does so many things. And I think your students will like it as well. And it's a little app called Sling Note. So if you'll grab a cup of coffee and uh, pull up a chair, we'll take a few minutes and we'll look at this app together. I've got Sling Note down here in the bottom of this folder. You'll see it down here in the, in the bottom row. And when I open it up, uh, I've already got the, the left-hand side of the screen loaded with a URL. So the left-hand side of the screen is a live web browser, and the right-hand side of the screen is where we keep notes. And so I have an article pulled up here. Let's say that I'm, I'm doing research for uh, NASA and things that I want to do. I can make this web page bigger or smaller by... Uh, the same way I would any, any other uh, item on an iPad with the pinching maneuver. And if I want to pull out that first paragraph and keep that for my notes for later, I can come up here to the upper left-hand corner where it says Capture. And I'm going to click that button that says Capture. And then I'm just going to draw my hand around this article, around this paragraph. And it's going to pull that out for me, and I'm just going to drag it over here into my notes. And so now I have that paragraph saved. And if I want to remember where I got it from, I can double click it. The entire URL comes up on the back side. And if I click in here, I can begin to type notes on the back. And we'll just... Um, Keep that there. And now I have this particular note saved in my note file, and I can come back to that later. If I want to, I can come up here and say, okay, I'm going to drag the pen tool. And if I had my, um, my stylus with me, I could write a lot smaller than that. Um, but I can write in the notes. I can also highlight over the notes. I can even highlight with a call out so that I can type in more notes in the call out. And then that is attached to everything that I've done so far. It's all pulled in there. Um, I can also decide that I want to take a picture. And so if I say, okay, I'm gonna take a picture of this, I'm setting out Christmas stuff on my, um, on my table. So we'll take that picture and I can tell it that I want to use it, then I can pull that in to my notes as well, just like I would in Evernote or any other app like that. And uh, when I'm finished, um, I can decide to email it, or I can email it, I, I would prefer to email it as a PDF. Uh, I can upload it to Dropbox. I can open it up in iTunes. There's a number of different ways that I can get to this. Um, and I can, I can make all kinds of notes in here, open up another URL, drag more in. If I run out of room on this page, I simply click this little arrow down here at the bottom and it will go to the next page. Um, and so then if I want to go back, I can come back to my first page where I have it there. Um, and this little app is, is very nice. I could use this if I'm collecting information for Lesson plans, I could collect it all in one place. I can collect pictures in here, uh, pull in things from the web, articles, outlines, quizzes. Um, the other thing that I can do as well, if I just want to keep a note of the URLs where I've been, um, copy and paste, I can do all that kind of stuff. But I can also just grab this, um, you know, I can grab the URL here, and just drag it over here into my notes. And I can, I can just then go to the next website, go to the next website, go to the next website, and pull those in to keep for later, um, or to share with students by emailing them out, those kinds of things. So I think that you will find that this is a nice little app that uh, your students will appreciate being able to take notes in, in very quick format, um, just by pulling out things off the internet, being able to turn it over, type their notes on the back, 
they can turn that into you as they turn in their paper and that way you get a first-hand view of whether they've plagiarized or how much they've actually written on their own, how they've synthesized and evaluated the information. I think that um, of, of all the different note-taking apps that I have tried, this is probably in my top five. And I think that you'll like it. So give Slingnote a try and let me know what you think.